your family comes first, academics comes second, baseball comes third, and social life is fourth. And uh, I, I normally get the, the question all the time, wow, geez, social life's kind of kind of down on the list. Well, I said, well, I recognize that social life is important, and that's why it's on the list, but it never comes before the other three priorities. To come to an institution like William & Mary, you obviously are pretty serious about your academic pursuits. And my goal is to uh, clear obstacles from the path of, of the student athletes so that they can earn their degree in four years. Um, so that's number one. Now, obviously, along the way, we've got some baseball that we that we want to win games. We want to win every game on our schedule. Uh, we're going to try to prepare our team and try to recruit the, the absolute best baseball players we can to play here. Um, that um, being said, we're not going to try to compromise someone's education to, to accomplish that. There are times when we're going to miss class and we've got, you know, uh, times when we need to do things on the baseball field that take away a little bit from, from the classroom, and that's the way it is in any, any athletic program. Program. However, we're not going to go overboard and completely compromise someone's uh, academic pursuits. From my standpoint, I feel like everything you do from an academic side of things um, and you stay organized, you stay committed, you stay dedicated, you stay on top of things, that stuff carries over to the baseball field. And baseball players and baseball coaches, we like to uh, pride ourselves on the fact that baseball is a cerebral game. Um, it's a simple game, but it's a cerebral game. Well, if you're not you know, taking care of your academic side of things, then how can you be such a, a smart baseball player on, on the field? So I believe they go hand in hand.